You think you've got a lot going on? Well, you ain't got nothing on Jennifer. You see, Jennifer is a sought-after model who's being stalked by a serial killer who's picking off the residents of a fancy high-rise apartment building. At the same time, she's being romanced by the architect of said apartment building who might just be the killer. Oh, and her ex, who is the leader of a hippie sex cult, is after her too, wanting her to return to the cult. Sounds like pretty people problems to me. The case of the Bloody Iris is a giallo that until recently had flown under my radar, which is a real shame because it's a pretty darn good giallo that contains all the elements that made giallo giallo. And those elements are served up here with a heaping helping of WTF on the side. The plot provides plenty of twists, the murder mystery is fairly compelling, there's plenty of tension throughout, and we get some pretty good kills. Bloody Iris actually contains one of the more sadistic kills I've seen in any giallo. It's not gory or graphic or brutal or anything like that. It's just... The killer ties a woman's arms and legs and then places her in a bathtub and turns on the faucet. As the water slowly fills the tub, she begs not to be drowned, as the killer just stands there watching her final grueling moments. We're provided with a number of suspects, but this is a rare giallo where suspects aren't easily written off as red herrings, because the suspects here are, how to put this nicely, they're all a bunch of weirdos. Another big ace up Bloody Iris' sleeve is star Edwidge Finnick. She's a stunner. Aside from being extremely easy on the eyes, she's also a pretty darn good actress. Finnick is easily likable and a sympathetic lead, and you can't help but feel for her character. I mean, who hasn't escaped a hippie sex cult or two? The supporting cast, including George Hilton and Paola Quattrini, are no slouches either. But the case of the Bloody Iris also has some unique and wonderfully bizarre moments. For example, the first murder takes place on an elevator, and when the woman's body is eventually discovered by three tenants, their response is not one of shock or horror, but of apathetic inconvenience. Do you know her? I've never seen her before. Yeah, she doesn't live in this building. Well... I'm going to take the stairs. I'm late for work. Ciao. There's also a totally bizarre scene inside of a gentleman's club in which a dancer issues an open challenge to any man there. If you can last three minutes with me in a wrestling match, then you can have me. The ensuing wrestling match looks more like a felony in most states. Correction, all states. There's all these strange attempts at humor throughout the movie, too, mostly involving a deputy cop who's staking out one of the suspects. And the main detective investigating the murders is very nosy, particularly when it comes to people's sex lives. The case of the Bloody Iris is a rock-solid jello, with a great cast, plenty of twists and turns, and some rather amusing moments. It's hard to believe that the case of the Bloody Iris' director, Giuliano Carnamino, went on to direct Ratman. If you haven't seen Ratman, check out my review. The Case of the Bloody Iris is a must for Giallo fans. I highly recommend it. I also highly recommend this new 4K Blu-ray combo release for the film from Celluloid Dreams. Celluloid Dreams is a new kid on the boutique block. I do believe this is their very first release, and if that is the case, then they're coming out swinging. This release comes with a double-sided slipcase. The sleeve is reversible. And we get five lobby cards that are actually lobby card sized reproductions of the original lobby cards. As for the 4K picture quality, the case of the Bloody Iris looks absolutely gorgeous on this release. There's a high level of detail present, the colors are vivid, and skin tones look natural. As for audio, we're treated to a DTS HD Master Audio Mono track, which sounded crystal clear and full bodied, perfectly complementing the great score. Overall, I'd give both the picture quality and the sound quality on this release a four and a half out of five. As for extras, first up we have an interview with George Hilton. It's 20 minutes and 43 seconds in length. Mr. Hilton discusses shooting Bloody Iris in Genoa, working with Edwidge Finnick and Giuliano Carnamillo. He also discusses playing Cupid and setting up Finnick with Luciano Martino and much, 
more. Next, we have an interview with Paola Quattrini. It's 11 minutes and 50 seconds in length. Ms. Quattrini discusses her character in the film, shooting in Genoa, and what a wonderful city it is, the good vibes on the set, and more. We get an outtake reel, which is 1 minute and 44 seconds in length. We get an image gallery, the Italian trailer, and the English trailer. And we get two audio commentaries, the first with Ernesto Gastaldi and Giuliano Carnamio, and the second with Guido Hinkle of Celluloid Dreams. This is a gorgeous 4K Blu-ray combo release for the case of the Bloody Iris from Celluloid Dreams. If you're a fan of the film, then this release definitely needs to be in your collection. If you've not seen the case of the Bloody Iris, again, I highly recommend it. This release would be a great way to introduce yourself to the film. If you've seen the case of the Bloody Iris, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, let me know what your favorite giallo is that's not directed by Dario Argento or Lucio Fulci. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and until next time. Peace. A huge thank you to all my patrons and channel members for your generosity and support. Become a patron today and get early access to videos, have a say in what content appears on my channel, join me for monthly live streams, exclusive watch parties, and more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream, as well as members only watch parties. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.